Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Friday, May 3rd, 2019. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Diocese of Syracuse, New York, is paying nearly $11 million in clergy sex abuse settlements. On Thursday, the diocese announced the payout to 79 victims through its Victims' Compensation Fund, which required that the abuse survivors sign releases promising never to sue the diocese. Church officials claim the money's coming from a liability fund and not from donations. In December, the diocese released a list of 57 priests credibly accused of sex abuse. Catholics are rallying around a Virginia priest claiming he's being falsely accused. Father Ronald Escalante, pastor of St. Francis de Sales Church in Purcellville, has been on administrative leave since November after he was accused of inappropriately hugging certain parishioners. But supporters say it's payback after the priest, known to be traditional and orthodox, uncovered financial irregularities at his church. Multiple parishioners have stepped forward to testify to Escalante's innocence, with one, a friend of the priest, telling local media, quote, I know that not coming forward with this information is morally wrong. A New Jersey teacher who raped and impregnated a girl can't be fired from his school. So said a state official last month who argued that the act, which took place 25 years ago when school teacher Joseph Deshan was a Catholic priest, should not be grounds for his dismissal from Cinnaminson Middle School in Burlington. Deshan started sexual relations with the girl when she was 14 and impregnated her when she was 16 and was afterwards removed from priestly ministry. He went on to become a popular school teacher, but his past deeds were recently brought to public light after the Diocese of Bridgeport, Connecticut, published a list of accused clergy. President Trump is making good on his promise to protect religious freedom. The Department of Health and Human Services announced a new rule yesterday, enforcing more than two dozen rules protecting conscience rights for doctors and nurses. According to an HHS statement, the rule will ensure that doctors, nurses, and hospitals will not be forced against their conscience to, quote, provide, participate in, pay for, provide coverage of, or refer for services such as abortion, sterilization, or assisted suicide. Facebook is on a banning spree. Its latest targets, conservative commentators Alex Jones, Paul Joseph Watson, Milo Yiannopoulos, and Laura Loomer, among others. The bans took place yesterday, Facebook calling the individuals dangerous. Bans were also enacted on Instagram, which is owned by Facebook. Users are still allowed to share the post, share and post content on their own pages from the banned personalities, with the exception of Alex Jones's Infowars. Users caught sharing his material will also be banned. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch the Vortex today, where Michael talks about enemies of truth. And check out the download, where the panel discusses the latest criminal probe into clergy cover-up. God bless you. Thank you.